Hey everybody, how you doing? Sarah Jane Kramer here, aka The Sarah Jane, Limelight Star Beauty Guide and proud team leader of the Queen Bees. And I'm here today to show you the difference and do a little comparison between a Z palette and, whoops, ha, Limelight's Little Black Box. So I'm gonna open up the little black box. This is so exciting, it's such a beautiful packaging. It comes in very sleek, very smooth with the gold gold or silver foiling on it. Looks gold in my reflection. I'm gonna slide it out so you can take a look. Beautiful, it's got the Limelight logo on the front and the front flap flips open, it's magnetic. And there's a mirror inside love that love that and then inside there are not one but two trays to hold your makeup in which is good because you don't want to put your cream based makeups with your powder based makeups just like you don't put uh, soft cookies stored with crispy cookies because they'll all end up soft so and these are magnetic so you can pop out any of the pans so for instance our eyeshadows, foundations, blushes. You just take a pen and you push up on the back. There are holes. And these little eyeshadows or whatever you're putting in pop right out. And so then this goes and you can drop them. They're magnetic. So you can drop them right in there. And you can do this with any of the cosmetics you have. Every Any brand, it doesn't have to, of course, be Limelight. There's a ton of YouTube videos about uh, de-panning your palettes on YouTube. So take a look if you need some help with how to uh, get these little buggers out of your non-Limelight stuff. So I love that it has a mirror in it because this is great because sometimes I will take my makeup downstairs and I'll do it downstairs while I'm watching a movie or something or doing something else, getting ready. Um, or I'll do it in my bathroom. I do it in my office a lot just because that's where all my stuff is. But I love to actually have the access to a mirror that will give you really good direction as to what you're putting where. Now compare this to the Z palette. I'm gonna pop the other tray in here. This is so great because it's gonna keep you very organized, keep you all your makeup in one little compact case instead of having to cart around, you know, whoops, 15 different palettes and all these different, you gotta open them and shut them. Where do I find the right shade? Now the traditional and the uh, original Z palette, uh, they come in a couple different sizes. This is the large and they have a clear window on the top and you open it up and it has the same magnetic pan in the bottom. So you can put your eyeshadows or what in there, but it only has one layer. And of course there's no mirror. So these are great, but you're still gonna have to have some kind of mirror or extra palette with you that has a mirror in it. And of course you'll need a separate one for your dry powders and a separate one for your concealers and foundations, anything like that. These ones, uh, these ones, this runs about, I wanna say $35 uh, for the large one. The Limelight one, which is the double decker, you have the two trays and the mirror, it's $38. So I think that's a bit of a no-brainer for comparison. So I love this, that it snaps shut, so it's not gonna come apart. Nothing's gonna rattle around, come unmagnetized. And um, it's just so compact, look at that. It's about, what, five inches? Five inches by four by six, four by five, something like that. So very compact, tidy. This is all you have to take to carry with you. Now it's not meant precisely for travel, but I think you could pretty much throw this in your carry-on bag and you'd be good to go. So just wanted to show you the difference between a Z palette and the little black box from Limelight by Alcount. If you are interested in getting this, it is currently in stock and you can get it by going to www.thesarahjane, my website, thesarahjane.com, or you can always drop me a PM uh, down in the comments. If you have any comments, go ahead and shout it out. And hey, by the way, if you're on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow at underscore, that's the little bottom line, underscore, the Sarah Jane. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.